Hey, welcome to my channel, Glue Guns and Roses. I'm Megan. I'm all about decorating on a budget. And in this video, I have five Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you that cost less than $5 each to make. I really don't think these look like Dollar Tree DIYs. I'm pretty stoked. I hope you feel the same way. My first DIY, I'm using this sign from the Dollar Tree. It says, keep life simple. I put little tape over the holes. I removed the ribbon. This is the cheapest and easiest DIY ever. Matte black acrylic paint. Paint all over the back of your sign. Let that dry. And then I'm using some rope I have left over. You can use whatever twine, string, wire you have. Hot glue the back and that's how we're gonna hang it. Flip it over and you wanna prime it like you do any other chalkboard by swiping chalk all over there, wiping it off, and then you can write whatever you want on the board. I'm outlining it with chalk because I think it makes it look fancy. This was inspired by a $7 chalkboard with the same dimensions, by the way, from Target. This is cute, super easy. I'm writing hello, and obviously you can write whatever you want. And you can erase on here, I did test that. So you can wipe away and then fix whatever you want. I'm not sure exactly how long it'll hold up since it's not actual chalk paint, but hey, for a dollar, that's all it cost me. Totally digging it. I think I'm gonna make one for each of the kids' rooms with their name on it because I have a few of these signs left over. For the next DIY, I'm using two of these beach signs. They're not the exact same, but the shape is. Remove the ribbon, remove the staples. I'm removing the paper off the back because then I'm gonna go back and use Gorilla wood glue with some popsicle sticks to connect two of the signs together. You can use whatever glue. I'm using Gorilla glue because I want a really strong hold and I know like it forms to wood. Hot glue works too, but I wanted something more sturdy. And then cut a popsicle stick on each side in half to kind of even it out. Now the back that's now our front, we have some staple marks and a line in the middle. Just take a little bit of sandpaper, sand that away so it's nice and even. I'm using my trusty old chalk paint because it dries fast, has a thick coverage, but you can use whatever paint you'd like as well. Paint all over the signs, and I did the same thing to all three. Now, for the first time, using black acrylic paint and a ruler, I'm going to outline the entire sign. You can freehand this. This is just easier for me. I'm horrible at freehanding. This still isn't perfect, but I promise it looks way better than it would if I would have freehanded it. And after I'm done, it looks about like this. Now the cool thing about this sign is you can customize this to say whatever you want. Welcome, hello, your last name is a street sign. Use the Dollar Tree sticker letters. I'm writing out the word washroom. And then I'm gonna use the quotations and periods and exclamation point to make a little design on the sides. Mod Podge to seal it all over my sign. And I hung this in our bathroom above a door. So the sign's about 24 inches long. And to hang it, I used two little nails and the little dots. And then I took a Sharpie and colored over them to try to camouflage it. I think this is super cute. I may make more of these signs. I'm counting this as less than a dollar for me to make because I used supplies I already had and I'm still using the other supplies. For the other two signs, I just dry brushed it with black paint. It was a little bit too much contrast for me, so I did go back and wipe away some of the paint, but this is just a personal preference. Then two bags of the Dollar Tree branch pieces. I got fat and short and long and skinny. They are tilted on one side or slanted on one side and that's the side you're gonna glue to the board. I'm using gel super glue because stronghold after 10 minutes it's dry after 24 hours it has the strongest hold and here it is you can see the skinny and tall pointing straight up i did six skinny tall and i did five fat and short i hope that makes sense i'm sure you can see what i'm talking about mod podge and i'm painting this all over my little hooks i'm doing this i'm hoping it'll help it be more strong and sturdy but also because these wood pieces are kind of like flaky. They have pieces of the bark or supposed to be bark coming off and I don't want that flaking all over my floor. To hang this, use a level and I'm using two nails, just nailing right through the board. Two nails on each side worked out great for me. This was inspired by West Elm, which is owned by Pottery Barn and I went for my own spin on it. I love the way this looks. Now I'm actually using these to hold my scarves and my necklaces 
but I think I'm gonna make a few for my craft room or a version of this because I really think this is cool the way it looks. I just might get real wood planks and then put a bunch of them on there. The next DIY using this tray from the Dollar Tree and gel super glue along with these handles that came off a garden tent. These tins will be used in my next DIY. I also keep little handles like this. So if you don't have little handles, just use rope or whatever you have on hand. Gel super glue on each end of the tray. I had to lift it up while it was drying. I just used a little Jenga piece. Black spray paint. You can get this for 96 cents at Walmart. Sprayed all over my tray, front and back. Then sterling silver also found at Walmart paint all over the tray and after that's done I go back and dab it to get rid of any brush strokes or brush marks then go back with gun metal gray and I'm just gonna dab it I'm not going all over the tray or anything just kind of dab here and there lastly I mixed a little bit of black acrylic paint with both of my metal colors and swiped it on the tray and dab it a little bit you will want to seal your tray with something like Mod Podge or I'm using this clear spray from Rust-Oleum so it doesn't scrape the paint away. I think this looks galvanized. The look I was going for, totally excited about this. I didn't do the handles at all, by the way, if you didn't notice. This was inspired by Pottery Barn. I saw this super cute tray. It did have gold handles, but hey, it is what it is. I like how mine turned out. I'm using this. Well, I'm trying to stage it like Pottery Barn had their staged online, but for real, I'm using this on my nightstand with a candle and I'm just gonna put like my earrings, my bobby pins at night so they don't go flying on the floor. The last DIY, I'm using this little house box from the Dollar Tree. This is a smaller size. You can use your hands or whatever just to push the back off enough. I use pliers. You can probably use like a screwdriver to push it off as well. Peel off the paper. I'm using my favorite Rust-Oleum's chalk paint in white just to paint all over the back. And this is left over from my last DIY, the lanterns and some little greenery I had around the house. So hot glue the greenery all the way around the circle, then hot glue the back of the box onto the house and then hot glue the circle back into the box or into the box, not back into the box. Anyways. This DIY, I'm counting as $1 for me because I use stuff I already had and I think it's super cute. And you probably have stuff around the house that you can use too. Or you can just leave the house as is. It's pretty cute. I just wasn't down with a pink like floral background. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.